Hello and welcome to the Excel in Business series. The title for this lesson is DLOOKUP. We're going to be looking at DLOOKUP directions and hard coding in DLOOKUPs. Now imagine you've got data like this, where you've got countries and a dialing code. For DLOOKUP, we could say look, look for Nigeria. Come over here, the dialing code, do the lookup equal P lookup. This value, table array, column, uh, column index number 2, exact match. And we get the dialing code as 234. There's another way we could do it. Uh, now if you take up Nigeria, see it comes uh, an error message because there's no data to feed in there is another way we could do it over here we could actually put in the value of what we're looking for so I put in Nigeria here in on uh, its text value so I have to put um, those signs there and go there you go you've got the dialing code. This is what is called hard coding. Uh, over here I had coded the lookup value. I could as well also um, had code the table array. Do this first. Sorry. I could hard code the table array. And this is how I would go about that. Uh, curl the bracket open. USA. One. UK. South Africa. hard code um, of, of writing your um, lookup formula you could hard code um, the lookup value and you could also hard code the table array you could have you could have code both of them let's see for example look for just the UK UK so and we've now I've coded both the lookup value here and the table array in this formula. Now let's talk about directions. Um, the lookup actually looks towards the right. So you've got countries, it looks towards the right, second column. It unfortunately, the lookup is not, it's not able to look backwards towards the left. So something like this, dialing code country. You can see one. Uh, maybe you're looking for one, then you say, go over here. Then you go over here and say, go B, look up. This value, table array, column index number. Y you can say minus one or minus two or something like that. It, it just can't work. So you, you run into problems immediately when it comes to this column index number. Let's drill in to see what it says or okay, you can drill in. So that is a big challenge with um, VLOOKUPs. It looks towards the right direction. So
So what I will do in this instance when I have a project like this is to copy is to copy this data and place it here. With that, I will then do this equal b lookup lookup value table array that's these two. Then the second one exact match and there you go USA so do for 44 UK right another important thing you should know uh, when when you when you when you're highlighting a table of arrays let's do this again let's do this again when you're lighting your table of arrays that's when you're lighting the table the data you want to look through you have to start from that data so I can't I can't start like this no I have to come over here and start from the data I want uh, my my formula to look true which is this data it's going to look from the first row uh, first uh, row and get data from the subsequent row so it could be this is the first row then it's going to get data from second row so I could extend all the way to infinity to as much as this can handle but the data I want to search has to be in the first row Thank you for joining me in this video. Uh, I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Cheers.